Taking a look now at a problem involving an elevator, and we have a uh, stick figure drawing here of a person on a scale who's uh, not moving on the elevator yet. Let's just examine the floor here, a scale, person standing on the scale. And right now the acceleration value being zero. The person has a mass of 80 kilograms. What is the force of the scale on the person? Well, acceleration is zero, so F equal MA simplifies to this net external force being equal to zero. MA has mass times a zero because the acceleration is zero. Well, what is the net external force? There are two forces acting on the person. There's the force of the scale that's acting upward, and there's the weight uh, created by uh, gravity due to the Earth acting downward. So we have those uh, subtracting to, to be a zero. The person's weight is calculated easily with the mass of the person times acceleration due to gravity. So 784 newtons. The force of the scale minus 748 newtons equals zero. So consequently we have uh, 784 newtons for the force of the scale. The second part, now let's let the elevator be moving upward at a constant velocity 10 meters per second. Constant velocity 10 meters per second. Well, if the velocity is constant, the acceleration is zero. So the calculation would be the same. If the acceleration is zero, the net for external force equals zero. Again, mass times acceleration would come up to be zero when the acceleration is zero. So again, force of the scale 784 newtons. Uh, so if acceleration is zero, the force of scale just equals the weight of the person. Now let's go to this uh, third section here. Suppose the elevator is accelerating upward at 2 meters per second squared. Now F equals MA has uh, a right side that's non-zero. So again, the force of the scale minus the weight on the left side. Those are the, that's the net for external force acting on the person. On the right side, the mass of our system is the 80 kilograms. The whole elevator and the scale are not part of our system, only the person. So we just use the mass of the person, 80 kilograms. And we're told that the acceleration is actually upward, 2 meters per second squared. That's a positive. So add 784 newtons to both sides. The 80 times 2 is 160. So the scale is pushing upward on the person at 944 newtons. This is reasonable. The scale has to not only support the weight of the person, but the scale also has to create the upward acceleration. Um, the unfortunate circumstance that the cable breaks that holds up the elevator. So the elevator will start accelerating downward at minus 9.8 meters per second squared. And writing F equals MA, uh, on the left side, force of the scale minus the weight of the person. We're just, again, the object is the person. Um, on the right side, the mass of the person and the acceleration of the person. And this is the actual acceleration. It's not the, uh, you know, the small g uh, symbol being used here, but it's the actual acceleration. And if we complete this calculation, the 80 times minus 9.8 is minus 784. And we find the scale is supplying zero force to the person. The person's in free fall, and there is no contact force between the scale and the feet of the person. The scale is not doing anything acting on the person. Well, those are elevator problems. You should practice some of those on your own and ask questions.